Hey there ladies and gents, so, um, <coughs> provided it's actually recording what I can see, um, I have Minim OSD finally bloody working. This is the Minim OSD Micro, um, it feels half an amp so it's going to chew my battery which I finally just got working. The, um, the interface that actually governs its voltage reading, it needs a little bit of work, basically that if you put in 11.6 because that's what's in your battery that's what it's going to display rather than having this 200 reading that you have to put to 206 or 2025 and just craziness like that so hopefully that is all coming up um, I'd like to think I'd like to change the colour but I'd imagine actually the white is a better the white with the black uh, undertones so it stands out in most conditions and uh, oh, it's not even connected. Well, I can finally now remove the um, battery beeper that I had strapped to the side so I can tell what, what my batteries do. Um, I know that the Naves 32 actually comes with a battery function uh, reading feature so you actually know what your battery voltage is. However, that went off after 0.5 seconds of flight because apparently my battery isn't strong enough to fly my quad. Uh, so it causes the voltage drop, which causes it to trigger, which for some reason it doesn't reset when I'm hovering or indeed just on the ground. And it just keeps going beep, 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 beep. So um, I've finally got a readout that's used for the 11.6 on the left hand side. Um, I'd imagine it's not quite there, it might be slightly off, but um, at least I've got a marker point now that I know what, um, what voltage I'm around and I can just in my mind go, ah, it's actually slightly lower so I'll bring it in or keep flying. Um, I've done a lot to this quad lately, it's now got infrared thanks to some infrared LEDs that I um, got out of the scrap camera and it's all security camera. It's got a beeper now so I've also got a lost, lost quad alarm which would be very useful because I lost it in a tree again over the weekend. Um, someone said, oh, uh, you like flying around trees, don't you? I was like, yeah, and bang, straight into one. Um, so don't ever say it to anybody else because you can actually just curse them and they end up crashing. Like I did. Um, but now we've got OSD and the again, the camera's been changed um, to a micro camera. Uh, battery beeper's got to come off, so it's going to be a fraction lighter fraction I do say and obviously I'm running the carbon fiber props but this is working really nice and I think the battery voltage is lower than what that's saying so I might have to tweak it what I'm using is a um, you know, voltage reader so I can actually get a, an accurate reading when the battery is plugged into the quad because there's no point putting the voltage when it's sat there because it's different um, once it's under load voltage drops and gives you a reading so um, I think this is maybe could do with a bit more tweaking although I'll double check it once that drop pop, drops down to 0.5 um, I'll take a read and see if it just gives me a ballpark figure because obviously 6.5 or 5.55 and such and such readings that don't come up so that's actually just dropped to uh, 0.5 so I'm going to take a voltage reading right in the middle of this video because I need to do it now Come on, what meter? It's actually just five, 11.5. Bang on. Well, bang, it's 11.51. But note that works absolutely fine. I can also see my flight type as well on the left to middle of the screen. The acro and then horizon. Um, yeah, it's all working perfect. Too perfect. Um, well, that should be that then guys, well, uh, here, thanks for watching, uh, take care, and I'll see you later, wherever the my recorder is, there it is, cool, bye.
so like I said it was a pretty short test um, it's quite windy at the minute so I didn't want to run the risk of flying off as I kind of went over into next door's garden there by mistake um, but yeah that should uh, should be a pretty good test I'll watch it back myself to see what it's like um, just to say I'm also running the um, Orange X R616XN and that's the Micro um, Pure CPPM receiver where it's like yay big literally um, size of a 5 pence foot piece and I've had no issues with range or dropout or brown out or anything like that um, including a flight that I did yesterday I just didn't record at the time because I forgot the memory card um, but no difference between any other receiver of that size anyway sort of a mid short range receiver so it's really good and I'm happy with it I'm really happy with how everything's turned out on this quad um, so yep guys thanks for watching take care and I'll see you later